Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're visiting us for the very first time, you are very much welcome. Please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Do what? Smash that subscribe button because we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers and we are almost there. And to my returning subscribers, I love you so very much. Sending you lots of loves and kisses. And today we're going to be cooking these groundnut or peanut brittles. They are very delicious snacks. Let's get cooking. Ingredients today of making these groundnut beetles, I have some groundnuts here, raw groundnuts. I have some. Well, I have one cup of groundnuts. I have a, almost a three quarters cup of sugar, and I have some salt here. So I'm just going to pour in my groundnuts to my pan, just like that. And I'm going to add in a bit, a little bit of some salt to roast it perfectly. So this was. Uh, one teaspoon of salt. I'm not going to add all of it. So that is okay for me. And now we are going to fry these groundnuts until they are perfectly done. So keep stirring your groundnuts so that they can fry perfectly. So I've been frying my groundnuts for about four to five minutes. And now I'm going to see if they are ready. So just take one of it and when you try to rub it against your fingers, this one is not yet ready. You see some of them are ready. The skin is coming out very well. So this is okay. I'm going to turn off the heat and set this aside. So my granules are roasted perfectly. So you can also use an oven, you can also use a microwave, anything that you have, just that you have to roast your peanuts. So now I'm just going to remove the skin, you can see some of them are already removed. I'm just going to wrap against my hand so that I can remove the skin and make sure that the peanuts are separated. That is one peanut is going to produce two pieces just like this. So wrap all of them against your fingers until all your peanuts are clean. So I've just placed my groundnuts in my blender, so I'm just going to blend this just a little bit so that it can start to be in powder form. Not so much, so that is okay. So make sure that all your groundnuts will just at least blend them a little bit so that to break them down, it will taste better. So I've just had my pan on the on heat again, and I'm just going to add in this sugar, because three quarters of a cup. You can add all of it on the main pan, so that is okay for me. So what we are going to do, we are going to melt this sugar until it started to caramelize. So melt it completely. So my sugar has started to melt, so it is not yet melted completely. So I'm going to keep on stirring until it has melted completely. So keep on stirring. So my sugar is perfectly melted instead of still caramelized, so I'm just going to add in my uh, crushed uh, roasted peanuts so and give it a stir. So the sugar will act as a binding agent to the peanuts. So give it a stir until everything has come together perfectly. And now, remember now we are using low heat. So use low heat, mix everything to combine perfectly and also remember if you want this a little bit spicy you can add some pepper and also some uh, uh, ginger powder that is if you want it a little bit spicy so mix everything to combine my grounds are perfectly mixed so i'm just going to transfer this to my oily mixture my only oily working surface. You can roll it using your rolling pin. So that is okay. And remember here you have to work very fast because the when it is hot because until then you won't be able to roll it very well so mine is rolled perfectly a 
after you have already rolled them down while they're still hot take a knife and just make a cut you can make a shape that you always desire so I'm going to make rectangular bars so we are going to cut and cut cut on this other side so going to cut cut and cut so we're going to give them some time to cool down and uh, stay and I mean stay intact all together then we're going to serve this so guys I did it my peanut bars or peanut brittles are ready and it's not necessary that you must shape them in a square shape or something you can also make something like a triangle any shape that you desire so they are ready and they are looking super delicious and you can serve this with uh, maybe your favorite drink because it's my favorite snack you can also add this uh, when you're waiting for your lunch or for your dinner and it will be perfect so that is how I made my peanut brittles and this one I made them in, in something like a bowl that did not come out well but it's okay and they are very delicious please be sure to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video don't forget also to share this video with your friends and neighbors and until then i've been your girl chef janet signing up right now see you next time bye, -bye.